As someone who is always out video game hunting at least once a week, I have learned that many game hunting tips that I've heard and that I've used through the years that we all talk about on YouTube aren't necessarily always working anymore. Sometimes the sellers catch on to what we're doing in the game hunting scene or such. And with that, I thought to myself, well, what are some game hunting tips that you find most beneficial for yourself game hunting day in and day out in this day and age? So let's get into my new updated game hunting tips that maybe people aren't talking about near as much as they should be. My first tip and what I believe to be the most beneficial tip and has helped me get the most games ever for myself in particular game hunting and that is to be nice, to be courteous, and to be kind to everybody. And I know that sounds so simple like that's not really a tip, it's not really that important. But something I've noticed when I thought about doing this video, I went back and I looked at a lot of my videos and something that I noticed and something that I can also pride myself in is that we're always putting smiles on people's faces and that's not a bragging thing. I just see what territory comes along along with that that brings smiles and that's us being fun with people, being kind to people, being nice to people, never making people feel like we're not happy to be there with them because in reality if you're doing this and you're game hunting, well you're doing it hopefully because you like to do it, because you want to do it and with that said, you shouldn't be having to force any sort of fake happiness or whatnot. You should be genuinely excited to do it. Otherwise, if you're doing it just for resale purposes, I get it, but that's a whole different business and a different mindset. And when you think about this aspect of game hunting, you can kind of take this into anywhere in the world. Think about a waiter, a homeless person asking for money. Any situation anywhere in the world where when you meet somebody and they're genuinely nice and they're genuinely kind and they're treating you well, you're way more likely to want to tip them better, to give them something, to help them out, even if it comes to any line of business, construction, a worker, when you see somebody, a mailman working hard out there sweating and they're out there smiling, hey, how are you today, how you doing? I mean, you're gonna be more likely to be like, hey, you want a water man, do you need something? You're a kind person and I think this in return for us has given us the greatest return of video games hands down in our whole line of game collecting and this goes for GameStop employees, it goes for resellers, it goes to people on the streets, it goes to garage sales, it goes to random family members you talk to about video games. So I know it sounds simple, but the importance of it is huge, especially for us, we can say, that this has been the biggest motivator for people to help give us good deals when we're out there looking for video games and for toys. This next tip I think is the tip that nobody ever talks about. I never hear anybody talk about this when they're talking about game hunting tips and that is to offer your services, your trade, your business, your profession, what you're good at. For me in particular, it's editing. And I can't tell you how many times I've come across somebody who has something or has a service that I want, a video game, a toy, a big item that I can't afford and say this person is a painter. I can offer my services and be like, hey, you know what, I don't got the money for that, but hey, you know, I, I could maybe make you a video, a little trailer uh, for a YouTube channel or a little commercial for you that can help you grow your business and in return, I can get the item that I'm looking for. And that goes for anything. Say you're good at construction, you're a handyman, you're a good worker, when you're, when you're game hunting, use that to your ability. When someone says, hey, I have this and it's something that you really want, yeah, it might be really expensive. It might be something you can't afford, but if you throw it out there, hey, you know what? Is there any way I can offer my services to you? Do you need something fixed? Can you get an IOU on some sort of construction thing that you need? And that goes for tons of trades. Like I mentioned, being a painter, being an engineer, being a graphic designer, being anything, being even to the point of where you say it can help you move next time you move or help you next weekend. I know it sounds silly, but this is something that I believe that nobody talks about when talking about bartering in the game hunting world. And I myself, my wife knows, I use it all the time. Yeah, sometimes she's like, okay, you gotta stop talking about what you do, but sometimes I'm telling you, it can help you out and it can help you get games and help you get toys. And it's something that nobody's really talking about. So use it, use it to your abilities. Another tip that I know a lot of people have a hard time accepting and a hard time dealing with is don't be afraid of GameStop and don't be afraid of retail stores, but you gotta do this the right way. Recently, I took in a bunch of my random retro stuff, stuff that I probably paid a total of 200 some dollars for and traded it all in for store credit, 
for about $800. I think it was like $787. Not only did I get an Xbox One X with like two, three games total, a controller, Racing. but I have like an extra 250 bucks left over on top of that. But the way you do this is you're not gonna get this by simply going in and on a random day and trading in different games and controllers and things like that. The way you're gonna have to do this is to use tip number one and to be courteous first and be kind first, go into GameStop and talk to the employees and ask them, when are the trade-in deals? When are there extra bundles going on? Because like I said, if you go in on a regular day, you're not gonna get that much. But if you can utilize certain deals and promotions, and I have seen other retro people do this in my community, if you know there's gonna be an extra, all right, towards trade-in today, if you're gonna go in and you're gonna buy something, if you bring in some games, you're gonna get the price we normally pay, plus an extra 50% on top of that, and if you're still an Elite Pro member, which I know is going away in I think most areas, but if you still have that, you also get more on top of that. There's different ways, there's different bundles, there's also times where you can go in and trade in a console, and if you trade in that console, but it goes towards another console, because like I said, you gotta know your deals, you gotta know your promotions, if you trade it in for another console at GameStop, you'll get like 200 to $250. Recently, I got over $200 trading in an old PlayStation 4 that I bought for like $90 towards another console at GameStop. And this was at GameStop. I firmly believe that you should also call other retail stores. Now, obviously, this tip is for newer stuff. And yes, if it is trade-in value, you can shop online for some of these places that do carry retro as well. But call stores and find out these deals. When you get ads in the mail, find out the deals. I have talked to a lot of guys, been out there game hunting in the wild, who are solid retro guys, who I've seen them come up to me and they're like, hey, do you, do you know the promotion that's going on on GameStop right now? It's huge. And this tip also goes along with other retro retro gaming stores, mom and pop shops as well, because a lot of times these places will have promotions. On an NES Pursuit video that's coming out on Thursday, NES Complex and I talked to a reseller where he ends up saying, hey, yeah, if you buy this amount or this amount, I will give you deals. That is always good to do. Yeah, it might not be in writing, it might not be as straightforward as like a GameStop or a Target or a Best Buy or something like that, but if you use tip number one to be nice, talk to them, sometimes they'll work out a different bundle, which you guys know. But definitely use promotions and deals and trade in value weekends to your ability. You can make it happen as you saw, or hopefully you saw in the last NES Pursuit expansion pack I did. All right, for my last tip, I'm gonna go with an oldie but a goodie, and this is a little bit more on the tricky side, if you want, without lying, there's no lying involved in this tip, but I always like to tell people this. If you're out looking for a game, and I used to use this all the time, I used it once recently on an episode of the NES Pursuit, when you pick up multiple games and you're at a swap meet, they're always gonna be triggered when they see titles like Mario, Zelda, Donkey Kong, Kirby, when they see the big names on top of the video games that you're showing them. So when you see multiple games out there, or if you only see one game that you want, you gotta hold up both games, ask how much, but you gotta cover the big title games, you gotta cover the big hit games that they know the names of. No, you're not lying if they ask what is that, you're not gonna be like, it's, it's Madden. No, you gotta tell them the truth. But when you just do the initial holdup, you can say, how much are these right here? And you can put, you know, a Madden game on front with the Mario game or the whatever game in the back. Because, like I said, I can't tell you how many times I've gone to the swap meet and a certain reseller or a certain seller will see, you know, Mario and without even looking or even thinking, even if the game's worth five bucks, they automatically say, 20 bucks, that, that game is 20 bucks. So again, if they ask what's actually back there behind the game, you gotta tell them the truth. Never lie while game hunting, as always, kind, courteous, honest, and truthful. Do all those things, but it doesn't hurt when you're out at a garage sale type just to be like, these ones, how much? It, you, you don't have to feel bad at the end of the day that way. Oh, but more importantly, more importantly, I want to know what tips you guys have. I always love going each new year and watching gaming tip videos through the years and seeing what happens and what comes out and what other new things people have thought of. I think my biggest secret tip for today was to offer your services. Nobody ever talks about that when I watch these videos. Use them, don't abuse them, and have fun game hunting. Keep gaming fun as always. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'm out of here. Goodbye. Oh gosh!